Okay, so I had to make some space to um, get my old droid, <laughs> my old, all these droid videos off of my 14 gigabyte little hard disk that I have in my droid here, but I only have about two gigs available for videos, which is one of the reasons why I installed, bought this camera here, <coughs> that so far I haven't been able to work. Now, I, I've i tried to compile this uh, GUVC viewer, and even though I have my dependencies installed, including gthread there, when I go through the motions of just doing the configure, it tells me I, don't, I need gthread 2.0. I've got it, but this configure is not detecting it. I tried adding user library 64 to the... Um, the etc. profile uh, to the path and etc. profile. It's a global setting so that when the shell opens, it will know the contents of what's in user lib 64 and thus find library G thread. Um, and I think that's what that is. I'm not even sure. That's that's what I was talking about with the, with the names. They're calling it library G thread, but this guy's calling it G thread. Um, I bet you maybe if I made a symbolic link from a file called library g thread and just called it g thread, it might work. But there's another way to go about this. And, but it may cause other problems, or I may still have to do that to, to install this thing. And that's using a utility called um, Alien. And there's a guy who has a blog. He basically says, you know, you have to install a package called alien and then you just type alien minus r name of package and, and script so I'm, this is what I'm going to do I've already done the zipper in alien I think or no I didn't because I don't have it yet at least I don't think do I have my yeah, okay, this is open, so yeah. You can only use the package manager one thing at a time, if it's command line or not. Zipper in, in is short for install. Come on, Zipper, come on. Yes, I would like to do it. So that, and this no key is just saying that whoever made that package didn't bother to make a GPG key to go along with it. I don't care. Um, I thought if I thought a rootkit was going to come down from from SUSE, I would have worried about installing the operating system in the first place. Okay, so now I've got that. Now I've I've selected this and I've paste, I've copied it, and I'm going to paste it, but I'm not going to press enter yet. And I'm going to go back, and I think, have I downloaded that deb from Berlius here? I'm going to go back, and I'm going to get the Debian, that's just a compiled version. Uh, binaries.deb. Yeah, it's going to tell me what I need. I didn't ask for source, I asked for the download. You bastard, you! You bastard! Okay, how do I download this thing? Download the dev. Come on, download the dev. Okay, maybe everything's on the same page. Ah, oh, there's the dev. There you go. Now, he does say this one's 64 for AMD. Well, why would it matter? I'm going to click on that. I'm going to download it. I'm going to save this sucker, and the thing is, is that it'll be there, but I'm going to open the containing folder, and I'm going to cut, and I'm going to move this up to home and paste, and that's one extra step that Lindos has added that I didn't need to do before. Thank you, Lindos.
appreciate it. Um, okay, so we got that. And now I'm going to do G U V. We'll put a space in there. C and hit the tab key. No, it doesn't work. Damn it. Okay, I have to start this shell again. God. Okay, where are we? <laughs> Look at all these windows I have open. At least it's not GNOME where the, the windows keep accumulating. So. Okay, let's try this. It is alien minus R G U V C view. Good, good. Give me my options by hitting tab underscore. Got it. And then scripts. Now it'll tell me if I don't have a dependency. What are you talking about? What the hell? Oh, it's made at RPM? Okay. Fine, I'll use your RPM then. I'll just click on it. And I will install it. And I will like it. It's going to tell me what I need, but supposedly it's going to download everything I need. Oh, oh, oh. Do I have the GUVC view? Do I have it? I have some ice cream. I have okay, let's see how this works. And I uh, should be spent. Are we done? Are we done? Are we done? Houston, respond. We are finished here. Now let's try it. G-U-V-C. Oh, the caps off. G-U-V. Now actually I get it. I'm going to change to me. Or person I'm, whose name I have picked for simplification purposes, G U V C. Boop, bam. I oh, thank you. So that's how you do it. So you don't need to mess around with compiling nothing. You use Alien, it creates an RPM, and you click on that mother, and you are done. Done. Finished. For video files, I usually go with raw, and I go with Matroska, otherwise it ain't going to work, and I go with them. I usually do that, I think. I go with my other video, and it's not DevDSP, my friend, it is a USB device. Thank you. Now we'll pick up with this other video after I name this Open Suset G U V C I E W dot and capture and 